What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a really cool team that features a returning Pokemon that I'm super excited to be showcasing. We got ourselves a Gliscor, or I should say Sandvale Gliscor team for you guys today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team also features a couple of other returning Pokemon such as Milotic, Infernape, Mamoswine, who I haven't showcased yet, and Sandslash. I believe Sandslash is a uh, returning Pokemon in a DLC. I don't think it was uh, originally in the game. So again, really cool team right here. Sent in by my boy Yaya Yaya. Thank you so much for sending this team into me on my YouTube comments. If you guys got teams for me, make sure you get them for me so I can make some YouTube videos on him. But like I said, Glasscore is here and Glasscore is such a cool Pokemon. One of my favorite evolutions that came out in Gen 4. It's flying in ground and it's just absolutely amazing on the physical attacking side. But our first Pokemon in today's team preview we're going to talk about is going to be Sand Slash. And Sand Slash pairs up perfectly with Titar because Titar can set the Sand Stream. This thing has Sand Rush to double its speed in that Sand Storm. It's got the Grass Terror type with EQ, Terror Blast, Dig, and Protect. Milotic is going to be our second Pokemon with Marvel Scale and a Flame Orb as item. It's got Scald, Ice Beam, Life Dew for HP recovery, and Protect for its final move. Tyranitar is going to be the heart and soul of this team considering it sets a sandstorm and it helps other Pokemon play off of that. It's got Hardstone as its item to make rock moves do more damage with the Rock Slide, Foul Play, Iron Head, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got Infernape with Iron Fist and the Punchy Glove. And something that I want to mention to the team creator right here is Iron Fist and Punchy Glove, I believe, do not stack. So you might be better off swapping out the Punchy Glove for a different item. I could be wrong. Someone let me know in the comment section down below. But Infernape's got Drain Punch, it has Encore, Thunder Punch, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got Mamoswine over here, a really cool ground and ice type Pokemon with Thick Fat and Assault Best Ends item. It's got Ice Shard, Stomping Cantrum, Icicle Crash, and EQ. In our final slot, we got Gliscor with Sand Veil and the Bright Powder to make it dodge a bunch of moves in the Sandstorm. It is a ground and flying type with a flying Terror type, Sword Stance, High Horsepower, Dual Wing Beat, and Protect. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? We're not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, trying to showcase Gliscor Sandstorm team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a team that cannot set weather. So that is really, really big for us. I'm thinking of leading the Gliscor and the Titar, but something I want to check before I hop in here, it's going to be Gliscor's EVs over here, and it's pretty bulked out on special defense, which I really, really like. It's got a nice little special defense. Its defense is already pretty solid. Speed stat's good, and its attack stat is okay, but the reason all the EVs are placed out like this is because this thing has Sword Stance, so you can actually invest more EVs in defense, speed, and HP, all that good stuff, because Sword Stance is going to boost attack by itself, so absolutely love Gliscor, super cool Pokemon. I'm going to be leading it alongside with T-Tar, but we're going up against Iron Valiant, Water Spout, Ogre Pond, I think it's Water Spout, well, I should just call it Water, Ogre Pond, and then they got Ursaluna, Rotom Fan, and then Hisumi Gudra and Grimstone, which is a deadly combo, especially when they set up screens. But I'm going to go in with both of these guys. I think maybe bringing another Sandstorm Pokemon or even Mamoswine as a back-end Pokemon could be really good for us. And then in our final slot, we either go in with Infernape or Milotic. And I'm kind of leaning towards Milotic just for the sheer fact that it has the Life Dew and Scald. But honestly, Infernape's pretty solid here as well. You know, I might just bring Infernape. I kind of wish this Infernape had Fake Out. Would actually work out perfectly because if this Infernape had fake out, we can honestly fake out and then set up a sword stance with Gliscor and then potentially maybe like have also have a U turn on Infernape and then U turn pivot into Sandstorm. Be a pretty cool combo, but I'm liking this team so far. Let's try it out on the casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with it. But Gliscor is just so sick, and I love its abilities that it gets. It gets Toxic Heal, which you can give it the Toxic Orb and just recovers HP constantly, and it also gets Sand Veil, which Sand Veil seems awesome. But he's going to end up going into Ogre Pond alongside with Iron Valiant. But I set the Sandstorm. Ogre Pond is looking a little scary. Booster Energy is going to pop here, pop in the Quirk Drive, and this thing's speed is going to get maxed out. And Shiny Gliscor looks so sick. And the real question is, do I just Terrasilize and do a Wing Beat, or do I try to pull off a Swords Dance? I'm going to try to pull off a Swords Dance. I'm not even going to Terrasilize. I'm just going to do that, and on top of that, I think I'm just going to protect the T-Tar. Let's see how this one plays out here. So I'm going to protect T-Tar. We're going to see what Ogre Palm was. Because I feel like it's going to go after T-Tar here. Aurora Spirit is going to come across. It's going to hit T-Tar. Show me your double down in T-Tar. Or can I just get a Sandbell dodge here? Ivy. 
Cudgel. I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys were telling me about it. But I do get the Sand Veil dodge, which is massive, and I get a free Sword Sand Spruce. But I believe it is pronounced Ivy Cudgel. Did I get it right, guys? You guys were I, you guys were uh, helping me out in the comment section down below. Ivy Cudgel. Did you guys say it's like Judge, but with L-E at the end? So Judge, Cudge, Ivy Cudgel. Cool. We're here. But now I got Sword Sands plus two on my guys. I got Sand Veil boosted. I am going to now terrestrialize him into straight flying, and I'm going to just look to get rid of the Ogre Pond. So I'm just going to get rid of the Ogre Pond here, and on top of that, I might swap into, say, Infernape here. But I don't think Infernape's going to be a bad swap. I don't think you're going for an attacking move or a water move into me, so I think going into you is going to be the play. Or I could just stay in here with a War Spear. No, not really. I really don't want to do that. So, you know what? I'm just going to swap into Infernape here. Lovely little Infernape. So we'll take the hard swap here. We will save our T-Tar for later. Potentially save for more weather control later down the road. And we will get out Infernape. But yo, Shiny Glyscore looks tough. He looks so tough. So I'm plus two on attack. We got Sword Sand set up. Match number one pretty simple. Pretty easily. Because of Sand Bell and Bright Powder. It gives me, raise my evasiveness and I'm dodging moves left and right. But now I'm going to Terrasalize and Fly. Making my moves do even more damage. We're going to get after it. So Encore is going to come out here, and you want to Encore me into a Protect, and it's not going to work out here. He goes for another Ivy Cudgel, and Gliscor is just dodging with Sand Veil. This is absurd. So Dual Wing Beat's going to come in here. Should be able to just take you out, and we only needed one Dual Wing Beat move, which is huge. Massive. It is massive. Massive, yo. Loving the Sand Veil. Loving the Sand Veil. Sand Veil Bright Powder is just so good. It really is. So he ends up taking some sandstorm damage. Glyscore is now going to take some sandstorm damage, but still, it's got that lovely little sand bell. Actually, does it not? It doesn't because of sand bell. That's massive. We love Glyscore. Glyscore is just so cool. But he ends up going into Ursaluna. And from here, I'm just going to dual wing beat you, KO you. And on top of that, I just take a simple drain punch as our player, right? Nice simple drain punch. And he's going to end up protecting, which is totally fine by me because I can encore him next turn into that protect. And we kind of go from there. But Thunderbolt's going to drop here. I should be able to soak that up. I do have a nice little special defense stat. And Dream Punch is going to get blocked. And on top of that, Glyscore is going to say bye-bye to Iron Valiant. And the funny thing is, like, Glyscore, like, I think it's only going to use one dual wing beat here. It's hitting so hard. Yeah, it doesn't even have to use two of the dual wing beats. This thing's hitting like a truck. Set up Sword Sands, Terrasalize into Flying. It's just KO and left and right. It's so powerful. It really is. So now that Ursaluna did protect it, I'm actually really happy now that this uh, Infernape has to Encore. I can actually Encore the Ursaluna. So you bring out Rotom Fan here. And you know what? I'm just going to go for Dual Wing Beat. Do I double down into Ursaluna here? I'd rather just get off some damage onto you. I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to Encore on top of that into the Ursaluna slot. So Ursaluna is going to Terrasalize. That's got to be Ursaluna. Seeing that we're going for Dragon Punchers. Yeah. It's got Guts, Trigger, all that good stuff. It's going to Terrasalize into a straight ground type. Straight ground type. The funny thing is, you're just going to protect again, buddy. So I'm Encoring you. It's funny, our opponent tried Encoring us into a Protect earlier. But this is how it's done. That's how you do it. So we're going to Encore him into a Protect here. Dual Wing Beat is going to fly. It's not very effective on the Rotom. But I'm kind of curious to see how much damage it does. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but Glyscore is still hitting hard. I think it's a uh, four times resistant to that. This charge is going to fly out here. We're going to be able to survive with Infernape, but that Glyscore finally drops out. But of course they get the para here, too. Of course they get the para. And from here, Ursaluna is forced to protect. Which it cannot do. It's going to fail. So he, Ursaluna is just going to protect again. And this is where we double down into the what's it called? The Rotom fan. But yeah, everything's kind of sitting pretty for us. Sitting real pretty for us. Because I can just bring straight or back out Mamoswine. Or I could bring out T-Tar. T-Tar's pretty good here. But I do like the ice moves. So you know, we are just going to go into Mamoswine here. So I'm going to bring out the Mamoswine. I can just start dropping ice shards. Everything is looking perfect for us. And we're cooking here. So Ice Shard is going to come across here. And I'm just going to double down into you. Try to get rid of you. But I do believe that this one Ice Shard is just going to KO. But Ursaluna is encored into Protect. So everything's working out <laughs> perfectly, yo. We just don't have to worry about Ursaluna anymore. 
We don't have to worry about that. Ice Shard's gonna get cooking here. Is he gonna KO? Is he gonna KO? Nope. That's not. Good thing we drain punch into that, but he's not gonna air slash to take me out. <clears throat> so we fine, we fine. We fine, we fine. So from here, Ursaluna, I think has one more turn left in the Encore. And we are gonna set the Sandstorm again, which is gonna be big. This match is pretty much on reps, right? I don't really see that Rotom fan doing much damage to us. We got a ground type on the field, we got a rock type on the field. The Sandstorm is back cooking for the boys. But Mammoth Swine is another returning Pokemon that I'm super excited to be using. But from here, I am just going to Icicle Crash and Rock Slide on top of that. Ursaluna is forced to go for another Protect. Could fail, it could land, you never know. And it's gonna land. Of course it lands. <laughs> of course it lands. Of course it lands. So Rotom Fan should get off one turn here. Probably should have Ice Shard that slot down. But as long as my Rock Slide lands, we'll thrive near. So Rotom Fans go for a nice little Discharge again. Won't affect my Mammoth Swine. T-Tar's gonna be able to soak that pretty well. This match is pretty much wrapped. She's probably gonna get a Paralyze on me too. No, you don't. Cool. No Paralyze. Can we land this Rock Slide, please? Please and thank you. Thank you, T-Tar. So we get rid of you, and now it is just a 2v1 situation. And actually, I'm kind of scared, because if I miss this Icicle Crash, we could be in for some tough news, right? We miss this Icicle Crash, and he pops an EQ? Oh. Oh, that's ugly, but hey, I'm still going for the Icicle Crash. So I'm going to go Icicle Crash here. I'm going to go Foul Play. Just double down into this Pokemon. Icicle Crash does end up landing, and that should be some big time damage. Almost KOs. T-Tar's going to be able to outspeed. Foul Play coming across. Now that's game set and match. Beautiful match number one from the Sandstorm squad. Mammoth Swine, T-Tar cleaning up in the back end and Glyscore getting us started with some big time KOs. Second match is on its way and we're going up against a more meta team in match number two. They got Blood Moon, Ursaluna alongside with Cresselia so that combo works out pretty well. They also have Heatran and then they got Fluttermane, Dragonite, and Shen Pao. So like I said, a pretty more of a meta team going up against some stronger Pokemon, but I'm not gonna lie, Sandstorm is still looking pretty good here. We have some great Pokemon to actually rip up against it, and I'm thinking of going with T-Tar and Gliscor to get things started for us. Correct? Is that good? Is that good? It does sound really good. It does sound really good, so I like that, especially with the Sand Veil. Oh, dude, it's just lovely. It is lovely, but as back end Pokemon, who am I gonna like? Do I want Sand Slash or do I want Mammoth Swine? I kinda like Mammoth Swine better. Not gonna lie, considering it has the first turn priority move, but Sand Slash does look pretty good, especially with double speed. Don't wanna go in with Sand Slash? You got the Grass Terror type, too. Are we really gonna need the Grass Terror type? Probably not. I like the Ice type move, so. Especially up against Ursaluna and uh, Dragon. So I do want Mammoth Swine here. And then in the final slot, it's either Infernape or Milotic. And I'm kinda lean towards Milotic just because they have a Heat Chan. We also have more Ice moves on the field with that. And plus, it is a pretty bulky Pokemon, so. I'm gonna end up going in with Milotic. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two and go back to back. But yeah, Glyscore killed it in the last match. I love how we got to showcase it just like that, match number one. It's always big when we do that. But I'm curious to see who they're gonna lead here. Cause I feel like they have a lot of different options. I feel like uh, Ursula Luna could come out here with Crest. Then go Shen Pao Dragonite, and it is Shen Pao Dragonite. Okay, I feel you, I understand. I do have Sand Veil which is a gorgeous, lovely, awesome move here. And I am a little scared because the ice type can do me dirty. The ice type could really do me dirty. So you know what? I'm just going to go for a rock slide here. Look to get off some damage. And I'm just going to protect you. I am just going to protect you. Because if I had to guess, if I had to guess, an ice spinner that's four times super effective is coming after the last one, right? I mean, I would be doing that. I'd be like, hey, going right after Gliscor. So if I can protect this shot, get off a lovely little uh, rock slide, it should bring Chen Pao down to Focus Ash, and then Sandstorm should finish it off. And there's the Ice Spinner. Beautiful, genius. Beautiful. Beautiful. My Gliscor ain't going down that early. Not like that. Stopping Hatch can come out here. That's fine. We soaked that. We're able to eat. Wow, that did so much damage because it was next to Shen Pao. And who's dodging Rock Slide here? Dragon it. Okay. Can we get rid of Shen Pao? Cool. We sash up. Shen Pao's going to die here. Cool. That Simon Cantrum did so much damage because it's next to Shen Pao. And if I had to guess, that thing is probably Choice Bandit. So that works out fine. I'll take that all day long right there. I'll take that all day. Thank God that hit the Shen Pao. We need a Shen Pao going. 
So from here, you were going to take Buffets, and now could be potentially be a time I could set up Sword Saints. I really, I would love to set up Sword Saints. The Crest comes out here, and now this is the time we set up Sword Saints. Now is the time we set up Sword Saints. So if I had to guess, you would gotta be choice banding. So now it's gonna be a time to set up a sword stance. I really like it. You might have Ice Beam on you, and I'm kind of scared of that crest. You might have Ice Beam, but again, I think that's a choice ban dragon that they're choosing into stopping tension. I really do. So I think sword stance is gonna be a safe play for us. We do show that we are fastest on the field, and yeah, you are gonna stop the So The stopping tension comes out here. Potential trick room, maybe. There's a potential trick room coming out here. And we'll see what Crest is doing. You do have Ice Beam. Don't like that. Do not like that. I simply do not like that. That, that, uh. Of course you got Ice Beam. Of course you are rocking out with the Ice Beams. So from here, what do I do? I could go into Milo. Um, Mammoth Swine's pretty good. I think we just go Mammoth Swine here. And do I Terra to look to get off some as much damage as I possibly can on the Crest? I could just protect and just go Ice of Crash. I definitely want to Ice of Crash this slot. I could Terrastalize. I could if I want to. I do have Sand Bale. So, you know what? I'm just going to Dueling Beat here into Crest and hope that Sand Bale comes, comes in hot here, right? The Dueling Beat's going to fly here. It's chunking up some nice damage on the Crest. We gotta remember, Crest is super bulky. Again, we're hoping Sand Bell can come and clutch here. Sonic Potash is gonna come across. We're gonna do some nice damage. Can we land this Ice Crash? We do. We can save bye bye Dragonite. The Dragonite's gone. <clears throat> so, Crest, can we dodge this lovely little Ice Beam? We know Ice Beam's coming in here. And Sand Bell not helping us out this game. So, of course, this Crest was rocking Ice Beam. So, even if I would have tired, it still would have did some big time damage. I still like our value we got off with Glide Score. We forced attacks into him, all that good stuff. So now I get to bring out Milo Milo. So Milo can come out here and not gonna lie, Crest is looking rather annoying, right? Crest is looking rather annoying. And they bring out Ursaluna. So Ursaluna could protect, it could double down. It's probably, no, it's not Guts. Does it learn Guts? I kind of forget, not gonna lie, but I still crash. Gonna be our best friend. So I'm gonna go Iso Crash here and I'm just gonna go for. Do I like to? I could like to, but I'm just gonna go for a Scald in the Crash here instead of Life Do. I can see plenty of different options here. I can see a Protect coming out from Ursaluna and then the Trick Room set up coming down to the wire, but Crash just seems to be a problem this match. So out comes the Fairy Terra. That's such a perfect Terra type. And are you protecting it? No, there's no way you're protecting her. You're terrestrializing. So I end up going in Ice of Crash. There is a flinch chance there, and Lunar Blessing coming out here. Oh, I knew this crest was going to be a problem. See, and once I said it to I was just like, this thing might have Ice Beam. And since it had Ice Beam, that move single-handedly probably won't be. Can I get a burn? No burn. Blood Moon comes out here. Probably can when this thing hits hard. Yeah, and I do not think my Milotic can, uh, can win this match. No shot, right? No shot, Milo, on this. There's just, I don't think there's a, there's a chance at Milo on this. I get a defensive boost, which is beautiful. I do have life, too. I would have to get some burns off, but, like, the thing is, it's just going to be a constant stream of... It's just going to be a constant stream of Lunar Blessing, right? Is there a chance I win this? Maybe I'm trying to like trying to comprehend if we can win this match. We might have to stall out real low. But we're gonna go for a scald here. We're trying to look for a burn, and this thing's pretty bulky. We do get a burn though. You are special attacking though, so my defense boosts don't really do anything. Yeah, I, I don't see us win this match. I do not see us win that match. Yeah, that 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 moon blast doing some big time damage. Sandstorm is gone, and that is going to be game. Crest coming in for them being an MVP. Big time. And I shouldn't have jinxed myself. I was sitting there, I was just like, does Crest have Ice Beam? It probably does. And then, next thing you know, it sent Ice Beam. Because if we had our Glide Score on the field, we would have been ripping through our opponents left and right. But there's match number two. We're 1-1. One one. Let's go hop into our third and final 
and look for that winning record. Final match is on its way and we're going up against a Wind Rider Shift Tree team. And I actually just showcased one of those in my YouTube channel yesterday. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, definitely go check it out. Awesome Pokemon right there. Definitely got to watch out for that. But they also have Power Spot Stone Journer alongside with Chiyu, Torkoal, and Fluttermane. So Titar, I think I'm just going to lead Titar and try to get the Sand Bell cooking. Maybe hard swapping it back after that because they do have Torkoal for potential weather control. But I am gonna lead the Glyscore again. I am going to lead Tyranitar. And in the back end, I do wanna go in with Mamoswine because I like Mamoswine here. And last but not least, actually, I'd probably rather go in with you, right? And then maybe Infernape. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better. Or instead of Infernape, do I go Milotic? No, I like Infernape here. Actually, no, I like Milotic. I really like Milotic. Yeah, Ice Beam Shift Tree is a little bit of a problem, but I feel as we can deal with it, especially with Dual Wing Beat, with our Ice Moves. Or not Ice Moves. Um, yeah, with Dual Wing Beat on our Glide Score. But this match should be pretty close. Like I said, we're 1-1. One one. We're looking for that winning record. Match number two came really, really close. We almost got that Glide Score ready to get cooking. Almost. We got the Swords Dance up, and then Crest came out there slapping us up with Ice Beams. That, that was just the last thing we needed, because we got rid of the Shen Pao. That was a big play for us. We are like, all right, Shen Pao's off the field. We don't got to worry about the Ice Types, and then Ice Beam came out here. And that's Glyscore's one weakness, is Ice. It's so... It's four times a week to Ice, so any, anything that hits it with Ice, is he's gone. Kind of like Garchomp. But Shift Tree ends up coming out here with Stone Journer. And that is fine because I feel like from here, I could tear and steal if I want to. But I'm just gonna drop a rock slide. And I think now I just set up a sword dance. Or I can actually just tear and go for a dual wing beat here. To be honest. Instead of setting up a sword dance, actually now could potentially be a sword dance play. But you know what? I really like just protecting. Yeah, I like protecting and going into a Terrasalize to wing beat. I think that's my best bet. And the reason I want to protect is Sift Tree could be Chlorophyll, actually. It could be Chlorophyll instead of Wing Rider. So they could swap and then go for the Grass Move into my T-Tar and then dual wing beat with this Terror type. No Swords Dance should still be able to pick up some big time damage. So I'm just going to protect them. Protect this lovely little Pokemon. Stone Journey is looking a little scary with Rock Slide, but Leaf Blade does come into the slot. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Again, Stone Journey is looking a little scary with the Rock Slide, but Glyscore should outspeed. Beautiful. And we should be able to just well, bam, whip into you and say bye bye. So Glyscore's hitting that truck. Plus, we do have Sand Bell, and it's always nice when Sand Bell does do its job. Sand Bell, Bright Powder, we get a little dodge. We're going for Rock Slide, Stone Journey, possibly. Probably. Rock Slide does come out here. Come on, Glyscore. Come on, Glyscore. Come on, Glasscore. Love Glasscore. Love when Sandbell does. Yo, Sandbell's where it's at, man. Sandbell's where it's at. We love Sandbell. We love Sandbell. So he ends up going into his next Pokemon, and there is the Torkoal. There is the Torkoal. And from here, it seems like a little bit of Rock Slide action and a little bit of a uh, Protect, or do I just high horsepower? I could swap. I do need to swap two. You know what? That is probably our best play. I think we sacrifice somebody. We do need to swap Titar. So I'm going to swap Titar for Milo here. The Titar for Milo is a simple, smart call. I think we just try to get off a high horsepower here. Or I could. I'm just gonna protect Glyscore. We'll play this with Sport. But Shan's sorry, he'll probably go for a Rock Slide and another Fire move with him, so. We'll just get the swap going. We have Milo, who is such a good Pokemon to swap into. Really bulky. Really great typing up against both these guys. And we'll see how this one plays out here. This is Rock Slide. Get a little block action. And Milo's dodging. Awesome. Cool. Solar Beam coming out here. Yo. What? <laughs> Yo, this thing just... Did you read me going into that? Or that was just... You want to go after t with that? That was massive. Absolutely massive. Milo gets a little burn going. Flame Orb gets cooking. Um, I could like to, but... I'm just going to hard swap back in t -tar. 
I'm gonna hard slap back into T Tar here, and I'm just going to go for a high horsepower into this shot right here, just in case he wants to swap the Coco at the same time as I'm swapping the T Tar. So Milo is down. It does get the burn on it, so Marble Scale is gonna pop. It's low HP, so I don't really think it matters. But a Solar Beam is just massive. I really think the fire move is coming in here. There's a nice lovely swap. We get weather right back. Blast Core Sand Veil is popping. It still has Bright Powder, so even without the Sandstorm, it has a chance of dodging. It's just a little bit lower. But they do end up reading and swapping, so that's why I want to high horsepower into the Stone Trainer rather than a Torkoal Slot in case they go into a Pokemon like, I was going to say, like Tornadus. But I end up high horsepowering. Big time damage. We have HP here. Rock Slide is going to get cooking. It does end up landing on Glass Core, and Glass Core is able to eat. So at this point, um... Do we swap? Or do we just Iron Head? You know what? No, we're just going to Rock Slide here. So I'm going to Rock Slide, and on top of that, I am just going to High Horse Power. But I still have my lovely Sand Slash. I still do have lovely Sand Slash. White Guard's going to come out here, and we are going for Rock Slide, which kind of hurts. But High Horse Power will be able to pick up the KO. You end up Moon Blasting. Wow. Smart play. Smart play. Smart play. So Glyscore drops out here. Um... Now's a perfect time to actually bring out Sand Slash. We get double speed. I can go right after that Flutter Mid slot. Right after. And I really like that. I can go right after Flutter Mid. I hit hard. I have Focus Ash too, and Sandstorm is out and about. So, I mean, they could change weather. They could. They could change weather. It's a possibility. But, at that point, Sand Slash is already getting off some value. So from here, I'm going to pop an Iron Head, try to KO you, and let's throw an EQ. Actually, might as well just throw. Mm, I don't want an EQ. As much as I want an EQ. I'm just going to go Iron Head here, and I'm just going to pop a nice little big dig. Actually, let's just protect you. Let's just protect EQ. Now's the turn to do it. Let's protect EQ. Now is the turn to do that. So out comes you. You're going to keep... The flutter meat on the field. This is fine by me. This is fine by me. Because I do think maybe a moon blast comes into the T Tar slot or something. And then maybe we can just dig or we can protect next turn to swap T Tar again. And EQ should be able to chunk up some nice damage. Like taking away the sandstorm doesn't neglect any of Sand Slash's damage. Moon Blast is coming into to the T Tar slot and we get off a free EQ this turn. So Sand Slash in the back end. We can get some work done. Lovely. And Sand Slash has always been such a cool Pokemon. I love it. I love Sand Slash. I love his design. But EQ flies to it. Let me leave him on one. So from here, now's the time to swap for you. And I do have Focus Slash, so I think swapping and just EQ is, is our best bet. Yeah. Swapping EQ is hands down our best bet. The reason I say that is because chances are they're going to take out Milo Tick anyway. Whether it be Daz and Gleam or something. So if I just take out my Milotic and pop an EQ, it, 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 it's fine. It's fine. The Sand Slash has that Focus Slash. It can take a hit if need be. It's going to be able to outspeed the Torkoal and we're going to get from there. Unless they double protect, that would be the only disaster. Okay, they don't double protect. That's fine. That's fine. So again, see, Milo goes down regardless. And now I get to pop this EQ. And Torkoal cannot swap now, which is gorgeous because we take out Fluttermane. Weather is going to be ours for the rest of the match, and we play the weather so perfectly. And that's usually what it comes down to when there's two weathers going after. It's whoever can play the weather better, and whoever can have it set more more on the field in their favor. So, in this instance, it is us. They are going to bring out Stone Journey, but from here, it's pretty simple. Just protect EQ, and I can finish up this game. So, Sand Slash being a big-time back-end Pokemon in this battle. Glasgow getting some work done as well. Love that I trash slides it early on in the game. Just get rid of Sift Tree. Everything worked out perfectly. Because we got rid of the grass type, allow my ground and rock type Pokemon to really clean up this match. But from here, again, another simple protect, another EQ. That is going to be game. Beautiful, man. Yo, Sand Slash? I love Sand Slash. We actually just use uh, Alolan Sand Slash, who I, I really like as well. But it's perfect. We play well around here. We play well around here. 2 1 winning record. Love, love it. Only lost that second match. Only lost the second match. Because we're not losing this one. I'm telling you that right now. Unless you got Y... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You do have Y guard. Hold up. 
Hold up, people. A everyone, calm down. Everybody, let's let's calm down a little bit. Let's let's slow let's slow the roll here. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, take a step back. Do not burn me. And let's calm down. Let's calm down. All right. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for a dig. I'm not dealing with these wide guards, okay? Everybody calm down. I was sitting there, I was just like, unless you have wide guard, and then I realized, I was just like, wait a minute, this thing does have wide guard. I'm burrowing, I'm going underground here. I hope an Iron can KO. It does, cool, dude. Awesome, we love it. Everybody calm down. Everyone stay calm, stay calm. Everyone stay calm. Stay real calm. Real calm. <laughs> yo, <t> <laughs> I, I was sitting there, I was just like, yo, we might lose this now. Now that this thing is wide guard. But fine, we're just gonna dig, we're gonna finish this one off. Like I said, we got the smash in the bag. There it is, 2 and 1. Nice, lovely winning record for you guys. I got a little ahead of myself in that last match. I was like, yeah, we're gonna win it, we're gonna win it. And then wide guard came out, and I started panicking a little bit, but I stayed calm. I got you guys that win. Don't worry about it. But Sand Veil, Bright Powder, Glide Score. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Considering I absolutely love Gliscor, so to be able to pick up two wins for you guys with this Pokemon was absolutely amazing. We also had Mamoswine, who we got to showcase. We used Sand Slash in that final match, and everything worked out perfectly. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.